southwest force, the things we do for it. <laughs> so, what are you about to do, guys? Oh, golly. We're doing the Fuji Town Awards when we have a breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, Talk to us after us. we're on the last leg, bringing Adrian here down the Greenway. It's uh, going downhill a little bit. Building up an appetite to sample the local fruit produce. <laughs> you enjoying the trip? That's wonderful, Ali. Yeah. Check the handbag. I hope we get good feed after all this, we will. Why, only for those with name badges. <laughs> <laughs> How did, you, how did you enjoy that cycle? It was wonderful. You were very impressive. <laughs> I think you should be the. Was I in the lead? The Ross. The, the Giro. The, uh, the Giro next year. I want a pink jersey. Are you getting ready for the Giro next year? I don't think so. <laughs> I, don't think so no. <laughs> I don't think so. It's fantastic though. What? The Greenway is absolutely uh, wonderful all yeah. so yes. But I think food has is, is become, even all over the country, there's certainly been a big emphasis on food. And the way I've seen changes in the last, say, 20 to 30 years, there's no comparison with the way the presentation of food now in our establishments and the number of restaurants and the, the quality of chefs, etc. Whatever happened Second to our bacon and cabbage? Ah, uh, still there. <laughs> <laughs> What are we You're today? very welcome what to the Key Cottage, everyone. <laughs> yeah, what's on today? This is the foodie town of Ireland. This is the final adjudication, and our judges have just gone in to check out all our food producers. And we have something to eat? There's loads to taste. Loads to eat. Yes, yes. How long have the Key Cottage been here? I hate to admit it. 31 years now, yes. And you set it up? Well, I did, from a ruined cottage to this now I remember today. you did, I remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very famous place. Well, we're still going strong. We're still going strong, beautiful place, yeah. I came up from the country market today. We have local country markets working 25 years in Westport. And I have a restaurant here, and then I started selling my local foods here. I do uh, uh, a small map pate from Apple Island. Yeah. So I buy the fish from Cherry Hassett, who has a, a restaurant up there, the, the, the chalet restaurant. He smokes himself here. My whole thing is I'm making fresh local food. I've got this idea not to make, not to use cream cheese in it. That's the chili bag hummus there, the kicklet. So what I do is I, I mix the smoke, local smoke mac with a bit of Greek yogurt. And this one, this is cherry, and it's called West Port Indulgence, and it is fresh of chocolate mousse with Ankel Island sea salt. And she won the prize in the first last September. This is um, Crow Patrick's seafood. This is pork gammon. There's pork that can be here today. And um, pork is placed in uh, the mina, and these are oysters and uh, mussels. <laughs> this is Tomas and Des. Um, Tomas is um, the venison I told you about oh, earlier on today. Um, Tomas, Adrian, and <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you. Tell a little bit about your um, I uh, farm around here. And, uh, this is my front door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, fully organic. It's certified organic. Uh, organic for about 10 years now. So they're late right here. Two uh, years ago, we got to bring it to market ourselves as opposed to selling live for our service store. This is Angela. She's got a harvest moon, she was her hummus and uh, you saw this in Super, yeah, value. super, super value. value, yeah, yeah. yeah. great, yeah. so meet the maker. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Okay. 
I have to say it's the best promise ever, better than mine. Sorry, I forgot myself. Red pepper hummus, a basil hummus, and a sweet potato coriander hummus. And these two are pestos. It's a walnut pesto and a sun dried tomato pesto. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
that's the uh, banana sausage. Uh, we grow the bananas on the green with it. <laughs> Mature cheese, it's a raw cow's milk gouda cheese. We do five different flavours. A plain one, uh, nettle, cumin, garlic and chive, pepper, and then also this one which is a mature cheese, aged for nine months to a year. The vinegars are all made from um, either herbs, berries or flowers that are grown here in Mayo. So it's in terms of the, the berries, it's elderberry, blackberry, raspberry, and then you know, wild grass. How long does it take to make them? It's a 16 week infusion. Well, it's next door, so it's very good to so all of these are made on site in the cafe and they're all from scratch and um, we use as much local ingredients as possible where possible in terms of the vegetables and some fruit. Obviously a lot of the stuff would be made from seeds as well but we get from independent health food stores down in Cork. Uh, which again is an Irish based wholesale and um, and then the range of products I mean the nut butters are the first to be made in Ireland actually here in Westport because all other nut butters in Ireland are imported from either Wales or England or the US um, and nut truffle for, who's a sweet person? Oh, no. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't actually have. Uh, Why do you have it? Okay, so that's rolled in Sesame Street seeds. Sesame seeds. So the whole idea of this is to um, develop foods that have high nutritional values and. Um, and help people again, as I said earlier, with allergens. This is then would be a roll around. Would you like a little, a little set of this? Yeah, a little bit. I'll just bring up the yeah. What's the verdict? Thank you. As far as really, really good. Awesome. Then we would use local sea salt as well, like apple sea salt, and our seaweed in there, some fried cheesecakes, is a local base uh, seaweed from Belmola.